Alistair from Koyeb, and in today's video I'll be showing you how to migrate a Heroku app to Koyeb. As you may have heard, Heroku is shutting down its free tier. It's truly the end of an era. We took time to reflect on it in this blog post that I'll link down below. If you're using Heroku and are looking for an alternative for running your full stack or backend applications, Koyeb is a developer-friendly serverless platform providing the fastest way to deploy applications globally. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to migrate a simple Node.js API with a Postgres database from Heroku to Koyeb. So without further ado, let's get started. So first, I'll go to Heroku's dashboard, and then I will just curl my API real quick, and we'll see that it's running. To move it to Koyeb, what I'll need to do is first go to Koyeb's console. If you've never uh, created a Koyeb account, you'll be prompted to do so. Uh, once you have access to the platform, you will then click create an app. Next, you'll need to name your app. You can name it whatever you want. Uh, just know that this name is used to generate your app's public URL. We also do support custom domains. Uh, for this video, I'll just name this Node.js API. Next, we'll need to configure the service. Uh, you'll first need to choose the deployment method. You can deploy on Koyev using uh, GitHub, or we also support uh, deploying with Docker containers. Uh, we're using GitHub today, so the next thing I'll need to do is pick the repository with my code in it. The branch is automatically detected. The next step is, uh, if I need to, I can configure build and run commands. My application uh, for this demo has a proc file in it. This isn't necessary, um, but my proc file will tell Koyeb how I want Koyeb to launch my application, but if you want to configure build and run commands here, you can do so there. Uh, the next step is I'll need to create an environment variable for my database. I'll be using a Koyeb secret. Uh, Koyeb secrets are just secure ways to store sensitive information like database credentials. So I'm going to name mine database URL, and then I'm going to create a secret. I'll name it Heroku PG URL, and then I've copied and pasted uh, the database's URL from the database setting. Next, you can configure ports, scale up the number of instances you want running at the same time. You can scale up the instance size. You can pick the regions you want your app to be deployed and running in. The final step is just naming your service. For the sake of this video, I'm going to name mine Go Koyeb. And as soon as I hit Create Service, Koyeb is going to start building and deploying my application for me. And as soon as it passes all necessary health checks, uh, it'll go live. This can take a couple of minutes, so I'll check back in once that's done. All right, so my build is done and my deployment is now live and healthy, which means that if I go to this public URL, I'll see that my Node.js API is now running on Koyeb. With Koyeb, we have logs and metrics built in. You can add custom domains and so much more. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like and share it with your friends. Let us know in a comment what kind of video you would like us to cover next. And finally, make sure to subscribe so that way you can be the first to know when we release new videos. Thank you so much. Ciao.